Humanity isn't entirely sure how the human body works. We're always learning more, but a lot of what we learn is just how wrong we used to be. For example, doctors used to think these treatments were legit. During the early 1900s, people believed radioactive water could cure mental illness, diarrhea, and malaria, all because it stimulates cell activity. Radium was also added to chocolates, contraceptives, toothpaste, and suppositories. There were radium spas. Today, we know that radium does stimulate cellular activity, increasing your chances of developing cancer, among other deadly diseases. This humane psychiatric treatment from the mid-1800s was pretty much what it says on the label, a chair modified with a spring and lever system to spin patients until they passed out. The belief was that this would shuffle the brain's contents and thus cure stuff like schizophrenia. Legend has it that China's first emperor tried to make himself immortal by drinking mercury. It didn't work out. But there was a time that medical professionals employed mercury as an antiseptic and skin treatment. Like if you had syphilis before penicillin hit the scene in the 1940s, your doctor may have prescribed you a mercurial ointment, pill, or potion. Of course, that'd introduce a whole new set of problems, from tooth loss to kidney damage to the biggest side effect of all. Death. If you needed a life-saving treatment circa the 17 or 1800s, you might have gotten a tobacco enema. That's right, literal smoke up the keister. The idea was that smoke would warm the body and kickstart respiration. First used on drowning victims, tobacco enemas became the fashionable way to treat colds, headaches, hernias, typhoid fever, and cholera. The active ingredient in tobacco, nicotine, is a stimulant but it isn't effective or healthy used as an enema. Modern doctors sometimes heal patients using a donor's blood or organs, but not as snacks. Yes, corpse medicine used to be a thing, like have a migraine? Ancient Egyptians would prescribe ground-up skull. Muscle ache? Rub some human fat on the spot. Epilepsy? Ancient Romans would have had you drink the blood of a gladiator. The idea behind these practices, which in some cases were used up through the 18th century, was that the patient would benefit from the soul and spirit of the donor. To learn more bizarre medical stuff, like why doctors might have bored a hole in your skull to release pressure, check out our article, 10 Bizarre Medical Treatments Doctors Used to Think Were Legit on HowStuffWorks.com. And hey, if you liked this video, make it official and subscribe so you won't miss the next one.